All right, let's talk about how to pre-assign students into WebEx breakout groups, and then if you so choose, reuse them day after day. This can't actually be accomplished using a personal room, a WebEx personal room. So elementary, your students aren't accessing your WebEx meeting through your personal room. You've already created a meeting that they access that's different from your personal room. So um, the steps I'm going to show you here in a little bit, you can make the edits to the room that your students are already using. Now, secondary, you're a little different. Your students generally are usually accessing you on WebEx through your personal room. So in order to make breakout groups and reuse them, you're going to need to create a new meeting with a new URL for the purposes of using these groups. If you intend to use these groups daily, feel free to swap out your personal room link with this new link and discontinue that personal room and have students always access your classroom WebEx with this new meeting link. To set up these groups, you want to go to gcisd.webex.com and access your WebEx account. You'll notice here we've got two buttons, start a meeting, schedule a meeting. Start a meeting is going to open up your personal room, which we know is not what we want to do for these breakout groups that are pre-assigned. We want to hit schedule. Here we're going to leave the first field the same, second field meeting topic, period for project groups, for example. And then you do this for your other periods as well. Don't change your meeting password. It's unnecessary. And actually, your kids don't even need it. Leave it there as is. And when they click the link, they will be signed in and log into this meeting without the password. Now, date and time. We have something to think about here. If it's just a one-off, set your date and time for the meeting, date and time that it occurs. But if you intend to use this meeting link and these groups multiple times, let's hit reoccurrence and choose daily, every weekday, ending maybe end of the year, June 1st. Now it's important here to add your in attendees into this field um, and add them in order of your group. So add everyone in group one first, group two, then group three. And notice when I type in the name, they pop up. So I don't need to know my student's full email address. Just start typing their name um, and find the one that is your student. Next, you're going to choose show advanced options and scheduling options. I like to leave this first one as is. Let me choose the co-hosts for this meeting if there are any. Video systems stays as is. Automatic recording, that's a choice you can make there. Exclude password, leave it blank. Breakout sessions, this is important. Make sure it's enabled. We need the check mark there. Click pre-assign breakout sessions. Here, I'm going to choose that to have three breakout sessions or groups, and I'm going to manually choose them. Press create. Now I put my names in order so that I could easily just go down the list. These two assigned to breakout session one. These two assigned to breakout session two and so forth. Once you've got all your students assigned, notice you can move them, exchange them, or remove them from groups, but press create. Scrolling down just a little bit more, unlocked meetings. I want my guests to wait in the lobby. Um, Registration, make sure is none. Email reminder, I turn it off. A couple more things to consider, meeting options, edit meeting options. If you want chat on, keep it on. If you want it off, take it off. And privileges, do you want the host, presenter, or other participants to participate in a private chat with you, have that ability? You can make that choice. Then save as template. I'm going to make this a template so I could reuse it on other meetings if I want to. Period for groups. Press OK. And schedule. Now you can give your students this link here to access this meeting with groups or create a new meeting and just choose the template 